So what I wanted to discuss today is the large language model that's been made available with an SEO writing.ai and that happens to be GPT-01. So when we're in SEO writing.ai and you go in and you look at your AI models here in the AI settings, you'll see quite a few different language models available to you. Some are pretty new for the tool and they're marked that way. Now, one of them is GPT-01. It's the most powerful reasoning model by OpenAI. It was released on December 5th of last year. So it's about a month old and it uses 15 credits. Now, this is really important if you decide to write a bunch of articles with GPT-01, just realize you're using a lot of credits with each article. So you do want to be cautious about using this model. But the one thing that I noticed the first time I wrote an article with it, and I took it and I brought it over to Zero GPT. And Zero GPT is just an AI detection tool. It's a free one that I use quite frequently. I noticed right away I was getting some very, very good scores, meaning very low AI detection. So the next thing that I did is I said, well, if I'm going to write an article and I'm going to use GPT-01 and use all those credits, what happens if I use the AI content cleaning tool that's in SEO writing? So in the past, I have not been very pleased with the results that I've got from this particular feature in the tool. But in this case, I wrote an article, I used GPT-01, and then I used extended AI words removal. I wanted to see if this new sophisticated language model with the extended AI words removal would make any difference in my AI scores. Meaning when I run them through zero GPT, they're likely to say that the article was human written versus written by AI. So I did that, and here's what I did. I created a bunch of articles, all in GPT-01. We can go here. You can see all these articles that I created here. And then the other thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to just take the basic language models that were available. So for example, all of these other language models, the new default one, which is a mix of models, the GPT-40 Mini, GPT-4 Old Combination, Claude 3.5 Haiku, Llama, GPT-4 O and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. I did some articles with that as well, and I wanted to retest this setting around AI content cleaning with those models as well to give you an idea if you're going to write with SEO writing in a specific language model, should you use the extended AI words removal. So that's what my testing was about. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of the results that I received. So this is where I just went in with each language model, starting with default, all the way through to the GPT-01 language model that I was referencing. I wanted to give you the zero GPT dot com score with no AI word removal. And then I wanted to give you the zero GPT dot com score with extended AI text removal. My article was Understanding Bauhaus and Mid-Century Modern Design, Key Differences Explained. This was the target keyword, Mid-Century Modern versus Bauhaus. And this is the kind of scoring that I got. So when I use the default language model, notice that with no AI word removal, Zero GPT comes in at 40.35%. When I used extended AI text removal, it actually says that it thinks that 55% of the article is written by AI versus 40. So this is what I mean when I said I had used this feature before and I wasn't very pleased with it. So it didn't work well for GPT-40 Mini and GPT-40. That combination didn't work well. For the Claude 3.5 Haiku, this new model, again, Using no AI word removal got me a better AI, AI detection score than using the extended AI text removal. But then I marked these in green where I got a better score. So if you wrote an article with Llama, instead of a 44.54% AI detection score, you were only at 36%. Again, GPT-40, 
You went from a 35% down to a 21% detection score. Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, just about the same thing, 29.73, 30.29. But this is the kicker here. So if you write with GPT-01, which is going to cost you the most generations and is the most expensive language model to use, note your zero GPT score with no AI word removal, 13.9%. Now, if I use extended AI text removal, remember back here, one-click blog post, extended AI words removal. If I use that, I ended up with a score of 10.56%. So zero GPT uh, thought that the article that I wrote right here, if I used extended AI text removal, it thought that only 10% of that article was actually written by AI. So if we go over to my next testing, so this is where I went and I wrote these articles here, disadvantages of electric trucks, camping with cats. I wrote seven articles, all seven of these articles I wrote with GPT-01 and I used extended AI text removal. So for example, how to start a podcast in 2025. This is the article that was written. It uses the extended AI text removal in GPT-01. So the most expensive language model that SEO writing has available to you and supposedly the most sophisticated. So if we go back over to the slide, let's look at the scoring for the seven articles. Again, the language model, all GPT-01. Here are the article titles. The Drawbacks of Electric Trucks, Camping with Cats, a Beginning Guide to Collecting Baseball Cards, What Age Should You Give Your Kid a Cell Phone, Art Deco Design, Should You Take Social Security Early, Podcast Startup in 2025, Step-by-Step -step Tips. So what I tried to do is write seven articles across seven potential niches that are all differing, right? Because I really wanted to see was my very, very low AI detection score an anomaly for GPT-01 with extended AI text removal, or was it the norm? So if we look at the first article, 1.66% chance that it was written by AI. Now this next one, Exploring the Joy of Camping with Cats, came out at 0% AI detection. Then the Beginning Guide to Collecting Baseball Cards article, 2.91% chance of being AI written. And then what age should you give your child a cell phone? That was 5.99% chance of being AI written. The Art Deco Design article, this was the anomaly. It came in at 13.63% chance of being AI written. So this was the anomaly, but it's still quite low compared to scores like what you're seeing here for some of these other language models. So let's continue on. Should you take Social Security earlier? That came in at 3.87% chance of being AI written. So finally, the last GPT-01 written article was Podcast Startup in 2025. And that's step-by-step -step tips that came in at being recognized at 6.82% AI written. What I found was if you are willing to write in GPT-01 and use the extended AI text removal, you can really dramatically reduce the AI detection scores at least with zero GPT. So I think the key thing here is, is zero GPT going to be a stricter tool as something like originality.ai? Probably not. Now, the other thing some people may say, I'm sure this will pop up in the comments, is maybe Zero GPT isn't trained yet on the new GPT-01 model, and that's why it's getting such low AI detection scores. And once the tool catches up, there's the possibility that these AI score percentages will go up that we're, you know, that we're seeing here. And that's possible. I mean, the model is a month old. My guess would be zero GPT would be caught up and be detecting that because that's what they claim to do. But again, these were my scores. I just wanted to point this out. There is one little thing that I think is important to note. 
Uh, I did note that when I was doing this particular procedure with an SEO writing.ai, it's called the repeat procedure. So let's say you set up an article, you set it up with a language model, you set it up with all the different attributes that you'd apply before you write an article. Now, normally when you click on this right here, repeat, so let's say you want to write a second article using all those same settings. So this one was written with extended AI word removal option selected. Now, when you click repeat, what you should see is this. You should see this extended AI words removal option here. It does not save and carry over when you repeat an article. You have to go in and make sure and check that this particular option is set where you want it to be. Everything else is set the same because when I wrote all these articles, I wrote them with a friendly tone of voice, third person, United States, GPT-01, eighth and ninth grade reading level. So all those things stayed. But unfortunately, it did not save the fact that I had chosen extended AI words removal. So that's one thing that I'm going to write a note to the developer about, and I just wanted to share that with you. Do not assume that if you write an article and then try to repeat the same article with the same settings. If you have chosen extended AI words removal, you'll need to reset it again. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you. Until next time, take care.